First and foremost, we have our fantastic returning sponsor going into the second year of their support of our campaign here in Wildmount, D and D Beyond. D and D Beyond. D and D Beyond. So, guys, I know we don't get political on this show a lot. We this is a place where we can get lost in the story and the characters and not think about government shutdowns or Dems or Republicans and all that. But tonight, I'm going to change all that. I'm going political, not just political. I'm going super political because tonight. It's a big announcement. I'm going to announce uh, my candidacy. Oh. No. I'm running a campaign to, I'm going to run for the office of president of D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> this is not a joke. I am running a year-long campaign that will culminate in a vote, and you will elect, I hope, me to be the president of D&D &D Beyond. You might have questions. First of all, uh, is there a president of D&D &D Beyond? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, is it an elected office? Probably not. But that doesn't matter to me because I am driven to make this happen. And tonight, I'm going to kick off my campaign, as every great campaign does, play that music uh, with a rousing, inspirational campaign speech. <clears throat> When in the course of tabletop RPGs, it becomes necessary to throw off the shackles of paper and pencil and assume the organizational powers of the iPad, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all player characters are created equal except bards who are more awesome, that all monsters shall be organized not by the color of their skin, but by the challenge rating of their character. <laughs> That all people enjoy freedom of religion except in Wildmount because they be assholes. <laughs> <laughs> that monks somehow be allowed to attack like 14 times around. <laughs> and that everyone sign up for D&D &D Beyond. Yes. For too long, D&D &D Beyond has suffered under the terrible leadership of someone? <laughs> I didn't look it up. But whoever they are, I know they have failed. For example, have you seen the guy they've tapped to do their advertising? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Friends, if you elect me, I will insert campaign promise here. Now, I didn't, <laughs> I don't know what my campaign promises are, but I will for the next rally. Oh, and slogans. I need a slogan, and you guys can help. Something like, make Xandria great again, or I like Pike or we are all the Sam we believe in, <laughs> or something. <laughs> but if you have a good slogan for me for my campaign, go on Twitter and, and tweet it to at D&D Beyond with the hashtag Sam for President. In conclusion, 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 conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> it's that there, but... <laughs> what do we have to fear but fear itself? Those who refuse to learn from history are doomed to televise the revolution, so ask not what your country can do for you. Let them eat cake. And Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Thank you, and God bless D&D &D Beyond. <gasps> Where's the way? There you go. <laughs> wow. There'll be more campaign events as the year progresses. Yeah. I'll need to choose uh, a campaign manager. Uh, I'll need oh. some slogans. I'll need some logos. One of you will be running against me, uh -huh. and we'll find this out as the year progresses. If, so, oh. if you lose, will there be a concession speech? <laughs> I won't lose. Oh, okay. What if none of us want to write a, a speech? <laughs> I'll get Danny Carr to do it. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Sam. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And thank you, D&D &D Beyond. Um, all right. And also sorry. sorry. <laughs> also yeah. really sorry for everything. <laughs> sorry, whoever might be the president of D&D &D Beyond. Sorry. Last one I cursed. Sitting at his desk, paranoid, <laughs> looking over his shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. 